In addition to all the work that was done in the previous video, the uh, edit a file in Photopea, Photopea, um, there's something else that you could do, and if you complete this, uh, you know, be sure to turn it in in addition to what you've done, uh, and I'll keep it aside, you know, in case you need some points at uh, some time in the future during the course of this class. And that is, I gave you this link at the beginning, that's Pixabay. I'm going to click on that and see where it takes me. This is uh, Stunning Free Images and Royalty Free Stock. So these are free images that you can use in your assignments. I wouldn't use them to create a poster that you're going to sell or something like that. Uh, I think that you can uh, contact the people that own these images and make deals with them. But at any rate, here we're going to use the stock images in class. And what I did tell you in the last video is that, well, this image, you know, we used a lot of cool tools, etc. Let me open up the image that I created. If I go to File and Open, it's in my drive, and it's still there, RC140201. I could also navigate to my drive, the RC1402 folder, find the file, double-click it, and load it. Uh, and I added all this, all these uh, sprays and shapes and stuff, but... I didn't tell you that you could also bring in another image from somewhere else and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the search bar and I'm going to look for a background. We already have a background in the image. It's called background. I don't know if you remember, it's just a white slate. So not much there. I'm going to search for background and I get several images here. Lots of them are pretty cool. I, I really like this one. I hadn't seen it. Um, let's see. Yeah, why don't I use that one? Now, when I click on that, these images, whenever you see them pop up, they're larger than what they are. You can download them, and that might take a little bit more energy that I want to spend uh, on a background for now. But just know that if I were to right-click and copy this image, it may actually be larger, you know, if I download it. But for now, just know that this right click is a quick solution. It's just going to bring in a low resolution version, basically, into Photopy. I copied it and I want to paste it. Now, the hello uh, layer is what's active right now. So if I paste anything, it's going to go on top of everything. And that's fine for now. Let's see. It'll, it'll help me guide my way down. I'm going to edit and paste. Control V is a shortcut and see how it's not as big as I thought it was going to be mainly because this image is still pretty big it's at 50 percent right now so it's actually scaled down a little bit and I'm going to move this around just uh, here and there I'm going to leave it where it is for now I'm going to click the transform controls and see if I go to the corner how the shape of the arrows change and now if I click and drag I can actually rotate that and I can keep the angle straight if I click the shift key while I'm turning it'll go and snap into place and this is a better size here I'm gonna press control minus to zoom out just a little bit and then I'm gonna press the shift key and I'm going to make that image a little bit larger by dragging the corners out I'm gonna press enter and that I think accepts then I can say hey this transform controls can be turned off the shapes will disappear or rather the anchors disappear now the image is still pretty cool, but it's covering up everything. So this is my layer two. I want to double click on that name and call this new background. Okay, and press enter to accept. I want to click and hold down the mouse button and drag this below. And I'm going to put it on top of the background. I mean on top because see where it's dark? It's on top of background and not on top of Pentagon. I want to let go of the mouse button and now I have that at the very very background I don't want it to be so powerful that it competes with the other colors so I'm gonna change the opacity from 100 to something less than that just something that's kinda of there but not really all there so then you know it, it's still there but we'll, we'll, we'll fix the adjustments later maybe uh, maybe not with this image but with other stuff that's more important so you can save this as well uh, and turn it in and uh, like I said there may be extra points for you later on uh, if you need them uh, if you don't do this part that's fine but you know hopefully you watch the video and now you know how to go and get an image from somewhere else and add it to your picture